Hi everyone, it's Nancy, and we have a new stamp set from Blue Knight Rubber Stamps. This is called the Flamingos and Wild Grass. Um, it has the grass separate from the flamingos. So we're going to get right into it. I am going to use my pan pastels for this because I want to make this pretty quick and easy. So I have a little piece of sticky grid in my Mini Misty. We're going to take the foam out because this is a red rubber stamp. And then I have a little piece of Nina Solar White cut down to five and a quarter by four. I'm just going to shove that down into the corner and it's going to be stuck down with the sticky grid. And I'm going to put my stamp in place. All right, and I am going to stamp this with VersaFine Claire. And it doesn't need to be a um, just a real light stamping because we just need it for reference of area right now. Okay, and we're going to leave the stamp in there and we're going to pull this whole piece out, which is just the laminated piece with the paper on. We're going to move our Misty aside. We're going to use our Pan Pastels. You can also pick these up from Blue Knight Rubber Stamps with a variety of different coloring tools. I'm just going to heat set this ink so it doesn't smear. Now I'm going to make this pretty simple. I am going to use the cloud stencil. There are two stencils. So this is the regular cloud stencil, and this is the reverse cloud stencil, which is brand new. The reverse cloud stencil will put in the white areas of the stamp for you, or the uh, stencil for you of the clouds. Um, usually works better on darker cardstock. Because I'm working on white cardstock today, and I want my clouds to kind of be like pink and purple, we are going to use the regular cloud stencil, which is this one here. And I do have some paper towels off to the side. So I'm going to start at the top and I want to go in with this is the Sunrise Sunset palette. You will get most of these colors, the storage case and um, some sponges when you order these from Pan Pastels. I do have a couple extra metallic colors in mine, but you can go online and see um, what you get with that. And I'm just gonna grab my little sponge here. What I like about Pan Pastels is they're very forgiving, they're quick, they're easy. You don't have to be really good with blending or coloring. Um, it's a pretty simple process. So I'm going to go in with the magenta, which is like a fuchsia. Just tap a little bit off and go in and just gently rub my sponge across the sky there. And I'm just going to pull that color down over the stencil and you'll see there it has the makings of the cloud. Now I'm going to move my stencil over, go in again with the magenta and just tap some of that off. And don't worry about the line marks, we're going to be able to get rid of those in just a second. And a little bit goes a long way. This is a high quality artist pastel. It's almost like a chalk, a finely, finely milled chalk, but um, there's really no dust and it's easy clean up with just a little bit of soap and water. You really, it's not even like ink. It's not going to stain anything. Um, okay. So I'm happy with the sky like that. I'm going to leave that alone. I want to, I want to do a little water line. So let me grab a scratch piece of paper here. Actually, I can just leave it like this, yeah. All right, so what I'm going to do here is go into my night and day palette, which is a blue palette. So this is our warm palette. 
The night and day is our blues and greens. So this is our cooler palette. And I'm gonna use this color here, which is turquoise. And I'm gonna go in, actually I can use the same sponge. I'm just gonna use the other side of it. Just wiping it off on my paper towel here. All right, so I just have a piece of paper there. I'm gonna go in with the turquoise. I'm just pulling down and now we have our clouds and our water. See how simple that was? Okay, now for our sand, I like to use um, some yellow ochre for my sand. Let me show you what that looks like. So that's an extra one I purchased individually. I also like the Burnt Sienna tint um, as well. And I'm just gonna use my little palette knife or my little sponge, here we go, for this, for the sand. So I'm gonna go in with a little bit of the yellow ochre. bit of that light pink and that kind of mutes that yellow so it's not so yellow now you can start to see that the stamped image is kind of getting covered up by the pan pastels and that's why we left the stamp in the misty and that's why i left this attached to my misty grid sheet because i know when i put this back into my misty i should be able to restamp it in the right position so most of my coloring is pretty much done now guys the only thing i want to do is go in with colorless blender that is a separate purchase and colorless blender is going to smooth everything out so all of those lines you see from the clouds i do keep the lid on that one And I'm just gonna find a clean part of my sponge here. All right, and so colorless blender, all you do is dip into that colorless blender and then just pull it wherever you have lines and you want them to smooth out. So the colorless blender just goes in and takes those kind of like brush strokes, or in this case, sponge marks out of there. And you can see how they are disappearing, but we're not losing our clouds. We're not losing any of our definition there. Now, if you wanna do the same thing for the ground, for the um, sand and the water, you can do the same thing. Just kind of smooth that out. Okay, I kind of like that, so I'm gonna leave it alone. Very simple. All right, so now we are pretty much done. We just need to finish stamping. So again, we're gonna line this back up into the left-hand corner. Our stamp in the middle. We're going to re-ink our stamp. is perfectly lined up now you could certainly leave it like this and make it a nice thinking of you or sympathy card or just a note um, the stamp set does come with some flamingos they are um, solid stamps so you can stamp them in any color I was thinking about stamping them in pink but I think I'm gonna leave the solid image so I'm just gonna bring those in and they are two completely separate stamps so you can put them anywhere you want
And again, I'm going to ink them up with my Versafine Claire. Oh, that looks really good. I'm not going to mess with it. <laughs> Came out pretty good the first time. It's nice and crisp and solid. So then um, you would put your sentiment on here. I'm going to leave this one blank. I often leave them blank and then just put my sentiment on the inside once I've decided what I want to do. But I want to show you guys how I set the um, hand pastels. So you can buy a fixative um, or you can buy these shortcut Krylon sprays um, if you can find them. I picked mine up at my local um, Michaels. And you want to spray this outside. I know that some people spray with hairspray. I've never done hairspray. Um, hairspray is not really um, good if you're trying to... Um, keep your images archival, which means last forever. So I do like the fixative spray or this Krylon Shortcuts, which is basically clear spray paint. So you want to do this in an outside area. You don't want to do this inside or well-ventilated area, but it's just going to be a couple spritzes. And then you're going to set that aside to dry and your card is done. So it's super easy to do. Once again, the stamp set is from Blue Knight Rubber Stamps. If you have any questions, post them down below. I will link everything that I've used for you. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. As always, thanks for watching and keep on stamping. Bye-bye.